This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with worldwide financial planning, Truro and Penwith College, and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. Our island's veterinary nurses' dogs appear to be well behaved. And that's a good advert for Sarah Roberts, who's starting dog training sessions arranged in partnership with a team at Lifelong Learning. Sarah says she doesn't subscribe to any one teaching method of a famous dog trainer, whether it's the legendary 80s icon Barbara Woodhouse or the more recent star of TV's It's Me or the Dog, Victoria Stillwell. But Sarah does believe in rewarding puppies with positive reinforcement. I think it's um, every trainer has something that they can offer to someone. Um, I don't really subscribe to any one particular trainer, but I do use positive reinforcement. I don't believe in using aversive techniques. Um, so no kind of electric shock collars, anti-bark collars, um, no kind of, the, it, to, if a dog's offering a negative behavior, you need to redirect that energy and give it a positive behavior it can direct it into. So um, kind of positive rewards for the, the things that they're doing right. Um, it's Some people say, oh, it takes longer. And um, some people say, oh, and you're just feeding your dog lots and lots of treats. But in the long run, you get a happy, well-rounded dog that likes to do what you want it to do rather than a dog that kind of sits and cowers in the corner. Sarah says training puppies is all about psychology. I'm actually in the process of... Um, I've already done a couple of behavioural courses and dog training courses. Um, in September, I'm about to complete um, another dog training course. And um, it is, there's a lot of um, scientific research has gone into the background of dog training and techniques kind of come and go in popularity. Certain trainers um, kind of come and go in popularity as well. And you see a, a kind of generation of dogs that are brought up in one particular way. Um, and then the next lot are kind of subscribed to another trainer. But I think so long as um, the focus is on creating a, a happy relationship between owner and dog, um, then generally you're on the right tracks. Sarah quit her life in Bristol and recently returned to the islands on a full-time basis. So keen she was to return to Scilly and work with animals. A veterinary nurse job is a voluntary position and she's supporting herself with evening work at the Mermaid Inn and occasional days working at the Duchy of Cornwall offices on the garrison. Sarah says it's worth it and one of her key roles this month, working with the island's vet Heike Dawn, is to encourage pet owners to take their animals for a free mouth inspection. It is a free service, yeah. Um, practices right across the country um, throughout September run this scheme and um, it's just trying to encourage people to be more aware of their pet's teeth. Um, it's something that kind of falls by the wayside a lot or gets overlooked a lot and um, Especially dogs or cats that are eating just soft food, it would be the equivalent of us kind of eating soup and cake every day and then not brushing our teeth. So they can get a few issues. Um, and sometimes you may not realise that the, the reason why the dog or cat has gone slightly off his food or doesn't look quite so happy might be he's got toothache. Hmm. So, um, yep, free service with the nurse. You get a sticker. It's part of the lift the lip service and there's also an art competition that goes alongside it for the children to take part in. That will keep Sarah busy through till October but her future here looks a little more complicated at the moment she's lodging with Heike but there won't be space when our vet moves into the new permanent surgery and accommodation near Oldstown at around Christmas then there'll be a real test of Sarah's voluntary commitment. She needs to find cash to fund her daytime unpaid veterinary nurse job during the winter months and find somewhere to live.